Hello, welcome to the Moment in Christ channel. May the peace of God be with you and your family and friends. Today we are going to share Revelation chapter 2, but first leave your prayer request. We will include your name in our daily prayer book, subscribe to our channel and leave your like so you can help the channel share the word of God. Revelation chapter 2 Write to the angel of the church in Ephesus, this says he who has the seven stars in his right hand, who walks among the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works, and thy toil, and thy patience, and that thou canst not suffer the wicked, and you put to the test those who say they are apostles, and they are not, and you found them liars. And thou hast suffered, and thou hast patience, and you worked for my name, and you did not get tired. But I have this against you, that you left your first love. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, if not, I will come to you shortly, and I will remove your candlestick from its place, if you do not repent. But this you have, that you hate the works of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches, to him who overcomes, I will give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. And to the angel of the church in Smyrna, write, This says the first and the last, who was slain, and is alive again. I know thy works, and tribulation, and poverty, but thou art rich, and the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews, and they are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil will cast some of you into prison, that you may be tempted, and ye shall have a tribulation of ten days. Be faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches, he who overcomes will not receive the damage of the second death. And to the angel of the church which is in Pergamum he writes, this says he who has the sharp two-edged sword. I know thy works, and where thou dwellest, which is where Satan's throne is, and hold fast my name, and have not denied my faith, even in the days of Antipas, my faithful witness, who was slain among you, where Satan dwells. But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there that follow the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast stumbling blocks before the children of Israel, that they might eat of the sacrifices of idolatry, and commit fornication. So you also have those who follow the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which I hate. Repent therefore, when not soon I will come to you, and I will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches, to him who overcomes will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and to him I will give a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no one knows except he who receive. And to the angel of the church in Thyatira write, This says the Son of God, who has his eyes like a flame of fire, and his feet like shining brass. I know thy works, and thy love, and thy service, and thy faith, and thy patience, and that thy latter works are more than the former. But I have a few things against you, that you let Jezebel, a woman who calls herself a prophetess, teach and deceive my servants, so that they fornicate and eat the sacrifices of idolatry. And I gave her time to repent of her fornication, and she didn't regret it. Behold, I will put her in a bed, and great tribulation will come on those who commit adultery with her, if they do not repent of her deeds. And I will kill their children with death, and all the churches will know that I am the one who searches the kidneys and the hearts. And I will give to each of you according to your works. But I say to you, and to the rest that are in Thyatira, to all who have not this doctrine, and have not known, as they say, the depths of Satan, that I will not put another burden on you. But what you have, hold on until I come. And to him who overcomes, and keeps my works to the end, to him I will give power over the nations. And with a rod of iron he will rule them, and they will be broken like potter's vessels, as I also received from my father. And I will give you the morning star. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Subscribe to our channel and leave your like.